Okay, hello everybody. It's day 10 of my diet, carnivore diet, and what happened today. So I was in Cambridge yesterday. If you watched yesterday's update, you'll know that I ate entirely too many calories and felt really guilty for that, even though all of it was meat. So technically I was on the diet all day, so it shouldn't really matter. So I'm, I'm not too concerned, but I didn't want to eat that much. Let's put it that way. Since I was away, I didn't weigh myself this morning, and I've learned over time to never, ever, ever weigh yourself at night. Always weigh yourself first thing in the morning. So I don't have a weight update or anything like that for today. I do know that yesterday I had... Um, yesterday I did about 15,000 steps. So that was pretty good. So that offset some of the calories, of course. And then I did... Today I've done call it not, well it says 8500 but i didn't have anything i didn't have my watch on for a while so probably around 9000 steps and i've only had a thousand calories today but i haven't been hungry so maybe that's left over from yesterday i don't know but today i've only had some i had some dry cured ham some chicken an egg and a couple of pieces of bacon this morning for breakfast and i've had i did allow myself a slight cheat which was a flat white um, which had a bit more milk than I've been drinking for the last well certainly for the last week so that's the most milk I've had at one time in in quite a while well so eight days nine days I guess it was nice but it wasn't it wasn't as good as I remember if that makes any sense so it didn't really it didn't really kind of, I don't know, it wasn't, it didn't hit the spot like I kind of thought it might, which is maybe a good thing because really all I wanted all day long was a peppermint tea, which is quite sad. Um, yesterday I had an amazing peppermint tea. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I went to a place in London and it's a coffee shop, but obviously they do teas. And what they do is a fresh leaf mint tea. So it's literally actual fresh mint leaves and they just put it in boiling hot water and then you let that steep for a while, which actually was amazing. And I really enjoyed that. So that was quite good yesterday, but then they didn't have any at the hotel and just through my movements all day today on the trains and traveling and all that other stuff, I just didn't have a chance to have any. So I now, at half 10 in the evening, have my peppermint tea, which I've kind of become addicted to. But the good thing about it is it's very good on the diet for me anyway, because it's a warm drink. It has some taste to it, but it doesn't require sugar or milk. So that's been my lifesaver so far for drinking during the day instead of drinking tea with milk and all the other stuff in it. So I think... Yeah, I feel like I should have some more calories today. But again, it was a weird travel day. And because I ate so much yesterday, maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's why I'm not so hungry today. I'm expecting I'll be back on a normal routine tomorrow. So I'll get up early in the morning. I'll have some eggs and bacon or something like that before I go to work. And then as I go through the day, I'll try and have my normal lunch and then come home and have a normal meal. I'm also going to get back in the gym tomorrow because I have no excuse. So... I should be back on a more even keel. No idea what my weight's going to be in the morning. I haven't tested uh, for and done any of the body fat measurement. I haven't done anything basically other than logging my calories and my steps. So from that perspective, I don't know. Uh, physically, I don't feel much different, although I have had some like itchy kind of rashy skin um, today. And also, um, for some weird reason, where I wear my watch has kind of got like, I don't know, it's quite sore where I normally wear my watch. And I've never had that happen before either. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if it's diet related or if it's just, I don't know. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that sort of stuff and see if that continues. I don't think either of it has anything to do with the diet, but we'll see. I suspect that the itchiness is just general dry skin because it stopped raining and it's been very clear and the weather's changed and I think it's a lot it's a lot less humid as well so I think that's contributing but anyway yeah not much else to report feeling good and 
yeah, we'll crack on. So I'll let you guys go. If there's anyone watching, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.